Hi friends, in this video we are going to discuss about Cisco IOS access methods. Uh, what are the different ways we can access internet working operating system? There are uh, several ways to access the CLI environment and configure the device. The most common methods are console secure shell that is SSH then telnet. We will see each methods uh, one by one. First one is console. This is a physical management port that provides out-of-band access to a Cisco device. The advantage of using a console port is that the device is accessible even if no networking services have been configured when performing an initial configuration of the networking device. When performing an initial configuration, a computer running terminal emulation software is connected to the console port of the device using a special cable called console cable. And now we will see how this console cable is connected. Here we can see one side of the console cable is connected to RS232 uh, mail port on the system. And the other end of the console cable is connected to the console port uh, on any intermediary device. So that we can access the IOS uh, using any uh, terminal emulation software. Coming to the next access method that is Secure Shell, SSH. It is a method for remotely establishing a secure CLI connection through a virtual interface over a network. Unlike a console connection, SSH connections require active networking services on the device, including an active interface configured with an address. SSH is the recommended method for remote management because it provides a secure connection. SSH provides encrypted password authentication and transport of session data. This gives the user ID, password and the details of the management session private. Most versions of the Cisco IOS include an SSH server and SSH client that can be used to establish SSH sessions with other devices. Sure, in this packet tracer, we are going to establish a secure connection from PC1 uh, to this uh, router R1. Here we can see the IP address of this interface, uh, that is G0 0 on this uh, router R1. It's 192.168.1.1. We are going to access this uh, router R1. Uh, coming to PC1, we will go to desktop, command prompt. Here we will type uh, simply SSH, then we will press enter. So here we can see the format uh, SSH space, then we have to give hyphen L. And space a username, so here the username we given as admin. Then the target, so that is the IP address of that router 1, 192.168.1.1. So it's prompted for the password, Cisco. Now here we can see now we are in R1. So we able to access the IOS. So here are the detailed configuration of this SSH. Uh, we will see in the future. So stay tuned. Coming to the next uh, access methods, that is a telnet. Telnet is an insecure method of remotely establishing a CLI session through a virtual interface over a network. Unlike SSH, Telnet does not provide a securely encrypted connection. User authentication, passwords and commands are sent over the network in plain text. Best practice dictates to use SSH instead of a Telnet for remote management CLI connections. Cisco IOS includes a Telnet server and a Telnet client that can be used to establish telnet sessions with other devices. Now we will establish a uh, telnet session uh, from this PC1 to uh, router 0 and here we can see uh, the IP address of this interface uh, G0 0 on this uh, router 0. It's 192.168.1.1 coming to PC1 desktop command prompt and here we are going to give the command telnet 192.168.1.1 and here we can see it's a prompted for the password Cisco 
Now we are in the server R1. So we able to access the iOS. Here also the detailed configuration of this telnet uh, we will see uh, in the uh, future video. Uh, so stay tuned. Finally, we are going to see the terminal emulation programs uh, such as PuTTY, Teratame, Secure CRT, OS X Terminal. And in the forthcoming videos, uh, we will uh, uh, see how to install, use these uh, uh, terminal emulation programs. Right. So in this video, we have uh, discussed about uh, Cisco iOS access methods. Friends, if you have any doubt, any suggestions, please comment below. Consider subscribing for the future videos. Stay tuned and we will meet again with the next video. Thank you.